coming up in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create animated videos and animated GIFs using Adobe InDesign and Adobe Media Encoder. Hi, my name is Justin from Ajar Productions. We'll start out in InDesign and I'll show you how we can animate objects. This will just be a simple overview. We have more detailed videos on the channel, so check those out. To get to the animation panel, I'm going to go up to Window, Interactive, and choose Animation. Now I've already got a preset applied. I'm going to just hit this little trash can icon and get rid of it. And I'll show you what it takes to create the animation from scratch. So I'll choose a preset, in this case, fly in from the top. And then I'll adjust the timing to where I want it. And I'll go through and set these different items. Now you can see each one of them has a different fly in. So this is fly in from the left. You can see this green arrow pointing from the left to the right. So I'll animate all these items on screen, and I'll get my timing panel, which is also under Window Interactive. Now you can see because I added this animation to the word in5 last, because I created it fresh, it's popped this down at the bottom of the timing. So if I were to preview this now, what I do that, I'm going to open up this other tool, the EPUB Interactivity window. I can also access this from this little button at the bottom. Now when it opens, I have to click the play button to load it up. You can see everything plays, and then I'm waiting for the word in5 to come in. I seem to have a little glitch where when I create new animation in InDesign right now, <laughs> it disappears. So I think I need to restart InDesign, but for the moment, just trust me, that should have played at the end. And to fix it, I'll drag this to the top, which means I've got to get animated below it. So then it'll play in sequence like that, and I can preview it, and it looks great. To do that, let me just go back a few steps, and then I'll go to the preview, and I'll show you what this should look like. So the preview normally allows me to test things on the fly before I leave InDesign, get them the way I want it. Then I use our premium add-on called In5. Once installed, there's a menu at the top here, and I'll just go to the Easy Export Wizard, and I'll choose Banner Add, click Next and pixel perfect text, and next, and say export now. Now when it's done processing that and optimizing everything, I just click to open it in the default browser. And you can see it plays right away, and then it fades out. Because there are actually two animations applied to this. There's a group here, if I hit escape, this group has animation applied as well, and that creates the fade out at the end. So now the other tool I need is the In5 Animated GIF Maker. That is a free Chrome extension, and normally it'll start up as creating a GIF. So if you want to create an animated GIF, you can try it from here. Just hit record. You can see what this creates right here. Now I'm going to set it to loop three times, and so we should see that when it's done and it'll take a little while to process the animated GIF. And then it'll play on screen. So for this one, it took quite a while, but it did a pretty good job with all those colors. I'm really trying to test it with having this image of the background. You can see the colors flickering a little bit. Um, we have another video showing how you can take it into Photoshop and actually adjust the colors on a frame-by-frame -frame basis if needed. I just want to show you that you can create an animated GIF from right here. And some people wanted a little more control. So what we did in this version is to add the ability to export an MP4. Process is the same. You can actually set the frame rate and a max resolution if you want to shrink the video from the InDesign layout size. Uh, but I think the best thing to do if you're going to take this somewhere else is just to use the max video quality. So I hit record, opens it up, records it. And one of the things that's happening under the hood is that the GIF maker recognizes an event from IN5, the IN5 output, that tells it the animation is done playing. So you can see we've got just the video we need there. And then we can go ahead and save this. And I've already got it there. And then we can open Adobe Media Encoder. So to get this video into the Media Encoder, I will just drag it into the queue here. Animated GIF probably isn't going to pop up. It'll probably start off as H.264. That's the uh, 
a format setting, I'll change that to animated GIF. You can see there are lots of choices, so maybe you want to take this and do something else with it. I'm just going to show an animated GIF in this video. And to customize that, I'm going to click on that preset. And now here I can, I can change things. I can move the playhead and look at the preview. And I can, start, I can trim the video, like this is the end, and I can make it end you know, here before everything fades out. Maybe I want to get rid of the fade out. I can't really do anything to adjust the colors here, but you can see I do have some control. So you find the tools in Adobe Media Encoder helpful and easy to use. This overview gets you started. Check out the other videos we have. We have videos on taking this into Photoshop, adjusting the colors, transparency, and all kinds of things on creating animation and other cool stuff with InDesign and In5. This is not even scratching the surface in terms of what you can do in In5. If you found this helpful at all, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in another video soon.